Pronouns. Self-correcting reflexive errors. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our ongoing English grammar series. Today, we're taking a deep dive into a very specific part of English grammar, reflexive pronouns. We'll be focusing on a common challenge for many English learners, how to correct sentences with incorrect reflexive pronoun usage. So, buckle up, grab your pens and notebooks, and let's dive in. Before we start with the exercises, let's quickly review what reflexive pronouns are. In English, reflexive pronouns are used when the subject and the object of the sentence are the same. They always end in self or selves and are designed to reflect the action back onto the subject. Examples include words like myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself, ourselves, yourselves, and themselves. Next, we need to learn how to identify when reflexive pronouns are used incorrectly. The most common mistake is using a reflexive pronoun when it's not needed. Remember, reflexive pronouns should only be used when the action is reflected back onto the subject. If this isn't the case, a different pronoun or a noun should be used. For example, incorrect, I saw myself at the store. Correct, I saw myself in the mirror. Now that we know how to spot errors, let's practice correcting them. I'll give you a sentence with an incorrect reflexive pronoun, and then we'll fix it together. 1. Incorrect. She gave myself a gift. Correct. She gave me a gift. 2. Incorrect. They asked to himself why it happened. Correct. They asked themselves why it happened. 3. Incorrect. He cooked herself dinner. Correct, he cooked her dinner. Remember, the key is to make sure the subject and the object of the verb are the same when using reflexive pronouns. If they aren't, you'll need to use a different pronoun. All right, that wraps up our lesson on correcting sentences with incorrect reflexive pronoun usage. Remember, it takes time and practice to master any aspect of language learning. So don't worry if you don't get it right away. Practice makes perfect. I hope you found this lesson helpful, and as always, happy learning.